In this tutorial, we are going to generate a random number. We're going to use relational comparison operators to compare the number to a number entered by the user. Basically, we're creating a guessing game. I've set up my scene by grabbing a girl, just I used a random generated figure from Alice, and we're going to need to create two local variables. The first one will be an integer and it will be the number to guess and we're initializing it to zero. The second variable will also be an integer and that will be guess. This is the number that our user is going to guess. To start We're going to set number to guess, and I'm just giving it space here, equal to zero. What I actually want to make it equal to is a random number. I have three options for random numbers, from zero to and a high-end number exclusive, which means that zero and whatever number I pick will not be included in the randomly generated numbers. We'll never get zero. If I put in a hundred, we'll never get a hundred. If I want it to be inclusive, where it includes those numbers, I would st start with 0 and with 100, and 100 and 0 could be guessed. That's the way that I want to do this. So I want it to be inclusive from, inclusive from 0 to 100. Now we can test this before we go further by having our child say and I'm leaving a space at the end here. The value of the random number is space because I want to make sure that there's a space when it displays. And I wanted to say the number to guess. We're going to test this so I can show you how it works. I'm going to run the program and if I restart it, every time I get a different number. But you saw that 100 did come up in there as an option and so did 0, so it's inclusive of the end numbers. But we actually want the user to guess the number. So we're going to drag our guess variable. We'll initialize it, or we'll set it to zero. It's already been initialized up here. We'll set it to zero. But what we actually want to do is get a number, uh, get an integer from the user and store it in guess. Please enter an integer between 0 and 100. We can use our comparison operators to determine if they guessed correctly. So we'll need to add an if statement to use the comparison operator. They're always used with an if. We want to check to see if it's true. Now here what we need to check is a relational operator based on an integer we want to see if our number to guess is equal to our guess. And if that's true, we want the child to say great job you guessed the number. We're going to nest an if statement inside of our if statement because you can stack them inside each other. Again checking to see if it's true and here we're going to check to see if our integer is less than our guess. So is the number to guess less than our guessed number? 
If so, the child is going to say, Sorry, your guess is to, let me double check what I did here, number to guess, less than guess, that means that their number is too high. Otherwise, it will say, your guess is too low. And again, we're going to continue with this program as we move on learning about logic so that we can have the person keep guessing until they guess correctly, which we'll work with when we get into while looping. And then we can also add things like having them say, is it hot or is it cold? So we're going to keep building on this program. So make sure to save it. And I'm calling mine guessing game.